Oh, YouTube. British kids were exposed to movie ads featuring a demonic monster attack ahead of YouTube videos showing Frozen and Minecraft clips. Britain's ad regulator, the Advertising Standards Authority, said kids have been unwittingly shown adverts for the new Insidious movie. Where were they seeing these pre-roll ads? In front of Lego how-tos, cartoons, and the aforementioned Frozen and Minecraft videos. The BBC reports that Sony-owned Columbia Pictures said they were aiming the material at adult audiences and had removed children and unknown audiences from their targeting algorithm. Google-owned YouTube says it lets advertisers control their campaigns and are responsible for their own content. The errant ads were apparently seen December 2017 and January 2018 by kids and some adults who complained that they were distressing. The regulator said it received five complaints in total. The pre-rolls for the movie, rated 15 years and older in the UK, showed women screaming and a monster attacking a woman. The regulator told Sony to better target its ads in the future, but according to the BBC, an investigation by the company found it was YouTube's bots to be at fault. So what does this all mean? Well, it's potentially nothing good for content creators. The BBC says in its report that it understands YouTube is, quote, now limiting its ads for mature content to a pre-vetted list of safe YouTube channels. If true, that means fewer ad dollars for other creators through no fault of their own. Here's some more on bots. Bots in the Twitter sphere. News of Russian-linked Twitter bots retweeting Trump during the 2016 election called into question just how much of social media is being manipulated by non-human actors. But while a new study confirms the pervasiveness of automated accounts on the Twitterverse, it also finds there's less political bias there than most of us think. Bots are applications that execute automated tasks. This can refer to applications like Alexa or Siri, or programs with more malicious intentions like viruses. On Twitter, bots are software-controlled accounts capable of tweeting or retweeting without direct human input. A recent Pew Research Center study that analyzed 1.2 million tweeted links found that only one-third were sent by humans, the rest were posted by suspected bots. The study found that 66% of tweeted links to sites covering news were shared by bots, compared to 90% for adult sites, 76% for sports, and 73% for commercial products. Interestingly, the bot's link-sharing behavior wasn't slanted toward the specific political stance. The number of links to sites shared by liberals was roughly the same as to those shared by conservatives. It's worth noting that the researchers didn't assess the accuracy of material being shared or distinguish between good and bad bots, which means it's still unclear how useful or problematic Twitter bots actually are. And they get half in the divorce. The roboticist who created Sophia the Robot recently said he believes humans will eventually be taking the plunge with bots by 2045. Roboticist Dr. David Hansen thinks robots will want their own civil rights by 2038. Hansen thinks that advances in AI will lead to smart machines demanding equal rights compared to humans by 2045. These rights would include the right to own land, vote, and get married might want to tack divorce onto that list. The more social types around the globe already have booty call bots, so it would be safe to say that some of these smooth operators will end up wanting to marry them too. Here's a question though, who are the kids gonna look like? We always knew millennials would doom us all. A new survey about technology says a quarter of millennials would date robots, the report by advertising firm Havas surveyed 12,000 people. Of those, more than one in four 18 to 30 year olds reckon it would be pretty normal to date a machine. It looked at people from 32 nations across the globe. Reportedly, men were very interested in botting up. And apparently, British men were the eagerest to get down and clunky. So, 25% of the world are robosexuals? Big deal. At least with a robot, you can always trade up for a newer model without going to court. E equals MC Humanity Screwed. This cyborg Einstein and his Saudi fembot buddy dished out a harsh prognosis for humanity this week. 
Both are designed by Hong Kong robot firm Hansen Robotics. Speaking at the Web Summit conference in Portugal, Einstein bot called humans problematic and said they need to heal themselves. Though robot professor reportedly theorizes that we will be the issue when it comes to cooperation between humanity and robots, not the cyborgs. Think that's bad? Well, his fembot buddy Sophia says they're going to take our jobs. Einstein bot also says humanity cannot solve issues like the climate, violence, or terrorism. Does that mean robots will? Who knows? But if the robots did, perchance, stumble into the DPRK and solve that issue for us, would it really be such a bad thing? Funeral robot priests are ready for hire in Japan. A Japanese company has decided to totally take the life out of funerals by using SoftBank's humanoid robot Pepper as a Buddhist priest for funerals that you can hire. With the help of some software upgrades, Pepper can now chant sutras in a robot voice while tapping on a drum. The priest bot was on display at a funeral trade show in Tokyo on Wednesday. The robot provides a cheaper alternative than getting a human priest. Old school priests will run you around $2,200, while Pepper only costs around $450 per funeral. Pepper can be outfitted in different robes depending on the wishes of the customers. They can also live stream the ceremony to people who aren't able to attend the funeral in person. Pepper hasn't been hired yet, but maybe if you're planning on dying soon and happen to be in Japan, this may be just the service for you.